Hello, this is Riet from the Codex team. In this video, I want to share some highlights from our recent 2.80 release. And uh, the first one will be quick settings. So quick settings allows you to set multiple properties of a card really quickly by using your keyboard. Uh, so let's jump into this example project in here. And uh, I have various uh, decks in here. Let's jump into game design. There are a couple of tasks ready to be worked on here uh, relating to different weapons and characters. Uh, let's say this whip item, oh yeah, it's really important. Uh, I want to work on that. So I can just click on this effort icon here and it opens up the quick settings, uh, which allows me to quickly edit these properties. So the deck looks fine. I can just use this uh, with the arrow keys on the keyboard. I'm going to assign it to me. It should be done for the alpha. Uh, I think it's really must have. And effort, uh, ah, it's a one for me. Okay, and I, I press return and I apply all the changes uh, in one go really quickly. Um, it's really convenient. You can still use uh, the other shortcuts that we also have. Like for example, I can hover over the priority and press a number key like two to make it medium or one here to make it uh, low uh, priority. I can also open the card, uh, check out the description and click on the effort icon here to do the same thing. So I can navigate in here, change the owner and so on, uh, change these settings. If I change one setting, you will see like this dot showing up, uh, showing you that there's a pending change. Uh, if I press return, I apply it. If I press cancel, I will just close the window without affecting any changes. Uh, that's really convenient and quick way to edit all these properties without having to go into the um, property side panel. Uh, I can also access this directly from the card editor. Let's say I'm writing a new card here. Uh, for example, I need to add player ability, uh, fireball, and now I want to set some properties. I can use the slash command um, and then I can see all kinds of effects I can apply here. But let's go to the first one, set card properties, and this opens up the quick settings again. Uh, I can go through here and quickly say, uh, apply to myself, it should be done for beta, it's medium priority, effort, I think three. Bam, I press return and all the changes are there. Now I can just save the card and I don't have to do anything else because I've already applied all the settings. Really quick and convenient way for setting up what you need to do. So another highlight are the decks. So we reworked the decks a bit, we made them more playful, leaning more into our tra trading card metaphor, and we gave, gave them depth. So you will now see that the decks have a depth depending on the amount of cards that are contained in them, of course. Uh, additionally, uh, these decks will now show a done counter, which is a new thing we added uh, because we felt it's nice not only seeing what kind of work or how much work remains, but also giving you a feeling of satisfaction knowing how much you've already accomplished. And uh, this, this, uh, this new design is it's kind of, it's playful, it's beautiful, but it also helps really with quickly identifying and finding uh, decks. It helps you with quickly identifying where a lot of work remains or was already done. Um, if you don't like to see the done cards and you only want to focus on the work that is remaining, you can also use these, uh, this org setting that we added just navigate to your organization settings, scroll down, and you will see this, hide completed cards for decks. If you enable this, we will sh hide the uh, done counter, and the de depth will only depend on the amount of remaining cards. So you are not um, distracted by the, all the done work already. I think that's a really nice change. And then the last thing I want to show you is you can now sort by hero cards. Uh, as you know, we love hero cards, for example, in here. Uh, I have this deck with uh, heroes and I have like uh, these different characters, wizard, warrior, and so on. And these, the first three have already been converted into hero cards using our journey. And I can see all the remaining work in here and so on. And since hero cards are quite useful, we added a sorting option to be able to sort by hero card. So let's say I go into my hand and I wanna just look at my cards. I've already applied, uh, applied the hero card order, ordering here. You can find it here. And you will see we added a swim lane, kind of a, a area uh, for each hero card. And this way I can really quickly at a glance, I can understand, okay, there are two cards for the staff. 
uh, assigned to me. There are two for the plasma saber and so on. You can use this in any context, not just within your hand, but you can also use this in your decks or in your milestone, for example. So really cool way to get uh, an overview. And kind of, if you use this, it kind of your project sorts itself out by itself. <laughs> um, you can also, of course, uh, use menu sorting and all the other options that we added as well. But this is really nice, uh, convenient new way of looking at your cards. All right, and that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and you're enjoying the new release of uh, Codex. Um, we still have a lot of more ideas. Um, and we can't uh, wait to bring them to you. Uh, if you have any feedback, let me know below the video. And until the next one. <laughs>